Hi students, in this video, I am going to do two more problems from exercise 4a. Then I will be talking about equations of tangents and normal for the ellipse. Okay, fine. Next, problem 4 from section 2 of the exercise 4a. A man running on a race course notices that the sum of the distances of the two flag posts from him is always 10 meter and the distance between the flag posts is 8 meter. Find the equation of the race course traced by the man. Okay. Let the location of these two flag posts are let us say S dash and ES. Okay. Here is a one flag post. Here is another flag post. Okay, and distance between these two is 8 meters. Okay, and let P be the location of the man running on race course. What he notices sum of the distances from these two flag posts always 10 meters, that is S dash P plus S P always 10 meters. Okay, so also. You know that distance between two flag posts S dash S is 8 meters. Okay. We also define ellipse as locus of point which moves in a plane such that sum of its distances from two fixed points are always constants. Okay. That is, we also define like S dash P plus S P equal to constant. Okay. That constant is going to be length of the major axis. Okay, here S S dash is going to be 4C. These two fixed points. Okay, these are fixed points. Okay, they will serve as 4C. Okay, according to this definition, the race course traced by the man will be ellipse. Okay, therefore, from this, you know, if I say 1 and 2, from 1. We can say the race course traced by man will be an ellipse. Okay. Let me take ellipse equation in standard form like this x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1. Okay, here we are taking major axis length as a 2a, so we should be in a greater than b case. Okay, okay, what we know here? So the 2a value is 10, that implies a equal to 5, and distance between two fixed points, 2 4 c is going to be what? Actually, 2a, 2a value is given 8, that implies a equal to 4 that implies e equal to 4 by 5 since we got a equal to 5 right now we have a a and e and we are in a, a greater than b case so using this relation b square equal to a square times 1 minus e square we can get this b value or b square value so the b square going to be a square value 25 times 1 minus e square 16 by 25 okay that implies b square going to be 25 times uh, 25 minus 16 9 by 25 that will be 9 okay so we have a square value 25 b square value 9 therefore equation of the race course traced by traced by man is what? Is it? It's an ellipse whose equation is x square by twenty five plus y square by nine equal to one. Fine. Problem 1 from section 3 of the exercise 4a. 
a line segment of fixed length a plus b moves so that its ends are always on two fixed perpendicular straight lines. Prove that marked point on the line segment which divides this line into portions of length a and b describes an ellipse. And also find the eccentricity of an ellipse when a equal to 8, b equal to 12. Fine. For simplicity, let us fix two perpendicular straight lines to be x-axis and y-axis. So this is x-axis, this is y-axis. Okay. 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 Let us say this is our line segment whose ends are lies on these two perpendicular straight lines. Okay. Let's say one end is A, other end is B. Okay. Since A is a location on x axis, it must be in the form like x1, comma 0. Since B is a location on y axis, it must be in the form 0, comma y1. Okay. Here, this line segment is of length A plus B. Here, AB equal to A plus B. That means distance between these two points. Okay. So, what should be the distance between AB? So, it should be x1 minus 0 whole square plus 0 minus y1 whole square should be equal to A plus B. That means x1 square plus y1 square equal to A plus B whole square. Okay. Looking at this relation 1, we can see that this x1 y1 satisfies circle equation with a center 0 0 radius a plus b satisfies the circle equation x square plus y square equal to a plus b whole square which is the equation of the circle with a center 0 0 and radius a plus b okay since we know the parametric form of the point on the circle with the radius a plus b and the center 0 0 okay so this x1 must be equal to a plus b cos theta for sin theta and y1 must be equal to a plus b sin theta. Okay, here theta is anything from 0 to 2 pi. Fine. So this x1 must be in this form a plus b cos theta okay, for sin theta and y1 must be equal to a plus b sin theta same theta okay fine now let us mark a point on this line segment ab which divides this line segment into two portions of length a and b okay so let us say this length is a this length is b now let's say this point p x y okay now here x y is a point which divide a b in b is to a ratio okay so we should know one thing if a is x1 y1 b is x2 y2 okay and the point which divides this a b in m is to n ratio is going to be what m x2 plus n x1 by m plus n m y2 plus n y1 by m plus n right so so this point x y which divide a b in b is to a ratio should be what b times 0 plus a times x1 by b plus a b times y1 plus a times 0 by b plus a. That means we got this xy equal to a x1 by a plus b, b y1 by a plus b. What is x1 that we got? a plus b cos theta, y1 is a plus b sin theta. Okay, let me replace x1 with a plus b cos theta. So by we have a plus b 
and here b y1 i am replacing with a plus b sin theta a plus b sin theta by a plus b okay here you can see your a plus b a plus b a plus b a plus b cancel so x y we got a cos theta b sin theta okay looking at this point a cos theta comma b sin theta we can say that this is the point on the ellipse whose equation is x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 so that means x equal to a cos theta y equal to b sin theta so if you look at x square by a square plus y square by b square what you get here a square cos square theta by a square b square sin square theta by b square so here a square a square cancel b square b square cancel we got cos square theta plus sin square theta which is 1 so as you can see so x y satisfying this equation x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 therefore here the point x y okay lies on ellipse whose equation is x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 okay fine okay now let us find out eccentricity of an ellipse when a equal to 8 b equal to 12 here a equal to 8 b equal to 12 so we are in a less than b case in this case the eccentricity formula is what e equal to under root 1 minus a square by b square okay now fine e equal to under root 1 minus a square which is 8 times 8 b square which is 12 times 12 okay so 8 by 12 you can actually write 2 by 3 so it's going to be 1 minus 2 times 2 4 3 times 3 9 okay fine so it's going to be root 5 by 3 okay eccentricity e going to be root 5 by 3 okay okay we showed that this marked point P described in ellipse. Let me show you the animation. Now we are going to look at equation of a tangent and normal at a point on the ellipse. First let us try to understand points of intersections of given standard ellipse and the line okay so let me consider standard ellipse equation x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 let me call it equation 1 and the line in slope intercept form y equal to mx plus c let me call it 2 let us solve for points of intersections of this 1 and 2 what we do we simply plug in y equal to mx plus c for y in equation 1 we end up with this expression x square by a square plus mx plus c whole square by b square equal to 1 okay if you simplify after cross multiplication you will end up with this expression which is a quadratic equation in x here for given standard ellipse and given line we know a b m c your unknown is going to be x so this is going to be a quadratic equation x which will have a two roots let's say x1 and x2 here we will have a three cases x1 x2 may be real and distinct or x1 x2 may be real and equal or x1 x2 may be imaginary let us see case by case okay case one x1 x2 are real and distinct so when we have a two distinct roots for this three okay for x1 we can get a corresponding y1 simply substituting in 2 okay so for x1 the y1 will be mx1 plus c similarly for x2 
you get a corresponding y2 that will be mx2 plus c okay so we will have a two points of intersection in this case in this case the line y equal to mx plus c cutting the ellipse at two points x1 y1 x2 y2 okay next case 2 when we have a real and equal roots if x1 x2 real and equal that means we have only one root that is x1 let us say then we can get the corresponding y1 from 2 that will be mx1 plus c so in this case we will have only one point of intersection that is x1 y1 okay so here the line will be just touching the ellipse at the point x1 y1 okay fine case 3 when x1 x2 are imaginary non real roots in this case we don't get any points of intersection for this 1 and 2 so here the line y equal to mx plus c do not meet the ellipse at all okay situation will be like this fine we are going to be interested in case 2 here the line y equal to mx plus c just touching the ellipse at one point so we say y equal to mx plus c tangent to the ellipse okay and this x1 y1 is called point of contact question is under what condition question is under what condition on a b m c this line y equal to mx plus c will be tangent to this ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 okay we know when we get real and equal roots right we get a real and equal roots for 3 when we have a discriminant of 3 is 0 right if we have a quadratic equation a x square plus b x plus c equal to 0 then its discriminant is delta is what b square minus 4ac okay fine okay so we have real and equal roots when discriminant delta is 0 okay what is discriminant here where the b role played by 2a square mc so b square going to be 4a to the power of 4 m square c square minus 4 a role played by this one a square m square plus b square a square m square plus b square and c constant this is okay a square times c square minus b square okay you want to make it zero okay now if you take 4 a square common then we have a square m square c square and this 4 a square got common then minus we have a square m square c square minus a square m square b square plus b square c square minus b to the power of 4 equal to 0 okay fine here you can see this a square m square c square a square m square c square cancel okay then you can also take further b square out so 4a square b square out then minus time minus plus a square m square minus time mi minus time plus will be minus so it will be c square and minus into minus plus and b square out right so we have b square here okay from b to the power of 4 b square we got out okay now and a b both are positive so what must be zero here so a square m square minus c square plus b square must be equal to zero so that will give us condition c square must be equal to a square m square plus b square okay so this should be the relation between a b m c okay c square must be equal to a square m square plus b square then this given line y equal to mx plus c will be tangent to the ellipse whose equation is x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 okay fine and what will be this point of contact x1 y1 we know when we have a real and equal roots what is the real and equal root that x1 will be equal to minus b by 2a right so 
in this case the real and equal root will be minus b means here 2a square mc by 2a a means here a square m square plus b square okay fine here if you cancel 2 and 2 okay then what we got x1 equal to minus a square m c okay what should be c here c could be plus or minus under root a square m square plus b square so here so for given m we could have a two tangents one is y equal to mx plus under root a square m square plus b square other one is y equal to mx minus under root a square m square plus b square okay that means for c equal to plus under root a square m square plus b square one tangent if, we, if i take c equal to minus under root a square m square plus b square we get another tangent which will be parallel to another one that means another tangent will be parallel to this one like this okay this will be another tangent having same slope as this one m okay slope is going to be equal to m fine okay now if i take c equal to plus under root a square m square plus b square then if i replace with a plus a square m square plus b square by a square m square plus b square okay now what will be our x1 so minus a square m by under root a square m square plus b square okay so okay for this x1 what will be corresponding y1 y1 equal to if i plug it here m x1 plus c means m x1 is this minus a square m by under root a square m square plus b square the c here c we are taking as under root a square m square plus b square okay after cross multiplication we get minus m square a square plus a square m square plus b square by under root a square m square plus b square now you can see now you can see these to get cancelled now we have y1 equal to b square by under root a square m square plus b square okay so the point of contact is going to be this one minus a square m by under root a square m square plus b square okay and b square by under root a square m square plus b square okay if you want to write in terms of c it will be c equal we have taken under root a square m square plus b square right minus a square m by c comma b square by c this will be this point of contact okay but if you want another one this one okay you may have to take c equal to minus under root a square m square plus b square in that case the point of contact you will get a square m by under root a square m square plus b square and minus b square by under root a square m square plus b square okay now if you want to write in terms of c it's going to be a square m by c comma minus b square by c so for one tangent the point of contact will be like a minus a square m by c comma b square by c and for another tangent 
the point of contact will be like a square m by c comma minus b square by c because for given slope m there will be two tangents okay for c equal to plus under root a square m square plus b square one tangent for c equal to minus under root a square m square plus b square we get another tangent okay so what is the condition for y equal to mx plus c to be a tangent to x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 this one c square must be equal to a square m square plus b square fine theorem statement the condition for a straight line y equal to mx plus c to be a tangent to the ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 is c square equal to a square m square plus b square so this should be the relation between a b m c so that this line y equal to mx plus c will be a tangent to this ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 fine note the equation of any tangent to the ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square minus 1 equal 0 can be taken as this form y equal to mx plus r minus under root a square m square plus b square you can call it slope form okay for given any slope m so we have a two tangents in this form y equal to mx plus r minus under root a square m square plus b square both having the slope m okay one tangent is this y equal to mx plus under root a square m square plus b square another tangent will be y equal to mx minus under root a square m square plus b square both having same slope m okay fine and the point of contacts are for these tangents minus a square m by c comma b square by c for this tangent y equal to mx plus under root a square m square plus b square the point of contact will be minus a square m by c comma b square by c okay and for this tangent y equal to mx minus under root a square m square plus b square the point of contact will be this a square m by c comma minus b square by c okay fine here obviously we know the relation is c square equal to a square m square plus b square okay this is how this c is related to a m b fine next theorem two tangents can be drawn from an external point x1 y1 to ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square minus 1 equal to 0 okay let us say this is our standard ellipse and x1 y1 is the exterior point of this ellipse okay now geometrically it is pretty clear that we can actually see two tangents to this ellipse which are passing through the point x1 y1 okay now we have to prove it algebraically okay fine let x1 y1 is exterior point of s equal to 0 where s is x square by a square plus y square by b square minus 1 okay so we know that if x1 y1 is exterior point of s equal to 0 then we must have s11 positive what is s11 x1 square by a square plus y1 square by b square minus 1 okay this is positive if x1 y1 is exterior point of this ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square minus 1 equal to 0 fine and any tangent to this s equal to 0 will be in the form slope form y equal to mx plus r minus under root a square m square plus b square if you take any tangent to this ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square minus 1 equal to 0 that must be in this form for some choice of m either for plus or minus so that tangent must be in this form either it should be like a y equal to mx plus under root a square m square plus b square or y equal to mx minus under root a square m square plus b square for some choice of m that much we know 
if one passes through the given exterior point x1 y1 then we have y1 equal to mx1 plus or minus under root a square m square plus b square okay here you should be taking either plus or minus but it's okay now if you bring this mx1 this side y1 minus mx1 then if you take a square both side then you will have this a square m square plus b square whether you take a plus or minus still you would end up with the same thing okay because you are squaring so whether it is plus or minus still the right hand side will be a square m square plus b square okay again if you expand again if you expand it you will get y1 square plus m square x1 square minus 2 m y x1 equal to a square m square plus b square okay now this we can write okay if i write m square common then a square minus x1 square then we have a plus 2 here y1 actually y1 x1 m okay plus b square minus y1 square equal to 0 okay so we have this quadratic equation m here here the point x1 y1 is given and ellipse is given so we know a and b so only unknown is m here so this is going to be a quadratic equation in m so this is going to be a quadratic equation in m okay so let me call it 2 let us have a look at discriminant of 2 so that we can talk about its roots okay so the discriminant delta equal to b square minus 4ac right so this is like a b this is like a c this is like a a so b square going to be 4 x1 square y1 square minus 4 a that is a square minus x1 square c that is b square minus y1 square okay now so the next step delta we can write if i take 4 common x1 square y1 square minus a square b square minus a square y1 square minus x1 square b square plus x1 square y1 square okay you can see these two get cancelled Now if I take 4 a square b square common then we will have x1 square by a square plus y1 square by b square minus 1. Okay. So here the discriminant of 2 the delta will be 4 a square b square times s11 that will be positive. So the quadratic equation m2 will have two real and distinct roots. Therefore, the 2 will have two real and distinct roots, say m1, m2, where m1 not equal to m2. So, there are two distinct values of m for which the tangent in this form will be passing through the given point x1, y1. Okay. Hence, two tangents through x1, y1 are y equal to m1 x plus under root a square m1 square plus b square y equal to m2x plus under root a square m2 square plus b square okay or it will be in this form y equal to m1x minus under root a square m1 square plus b square y equal to m2x minus under root a square m2 square plus b square okay so those two tangents will be either in this form or this form fine okay theorem the equation of the chord joining the points x1 y1 and x2 y2 on 
ellipse s equal 0 is s1 plus s2 equal to s12. Here s equal 0 is the standard ellipse equation x square by a square plus y square by b square minus 1 equal to 0. Okay. You can also say it as secant equation. Okay. It is a line equation, right? Line passing through x1, y1, x2, y2. These two are points on ellipse. If this is a standard ellipse, let us say this is a point x1, y1. Let us say this is a point x2, y2. Okay. Then this line equation in terms of S will be S1 plus S2 equal to S12. Okay. You can actually say this one is secant. Okay. Secant equation S1 plus S2 equal to S12. Chord means line segment, right? Of course. Okay. Fine. So your idea is to answer this secant equation in terms of S. Okay not to answer as a line passing through two points x1 y1 x2 y2 that's cv so we want to realize this secant equation in terms of the ellipse s equal to zero okay so this is the this secant equation or you can say chord equation okay passing through x1 y1 and x2 y2 fine next theorem the equation of the tangent at a point x1 y1 to ellipse s equal to 0 here s equal 0 is x square by a square plus y square by b square minus 1 equal 0 standard ellipse equation is s1 equal 0 what is s1 here x x1 by a square plus y y1 by b square minus 1 okay that is s1 again i am not going to prove this theorem because proof is similar to what we did in the case of parabola or circle fine how did we prove it we know that limit of secant pq as q tends to p will be equal to tangent at p, right? That's why the limit of this q, let us say x2, y2 tends to x1, y1, okay? The secant equation s1 plus s2 minus s12 equal to 0 will be okay s1 equal to 0 okay limit of the left hand side will be s1 equal to 0 that's how next theorem the equation of the normal at a point x1 y1 to this ellipse s equal to 0 here s is x square by a square plus y square by b square minus 1 is a square x by x1 minus p square y by y1 minus of a square minus b square equal to 0. Okay. So we can easily prove this. I'll just explain. Let us say this is the standard ellipse. And this is the point x1, y1. What is the tangent at x1, y1? s1 equal to 0, right? So what is the slope of s1? From this I can say slope of the line s1 equal 0 is minus x1 by a square by y1 by b square that will be equal to minus x1 b square by y1 a square okay what is the normal at x1 y1 line passing through x1 y1 perpendicular to this tangent at x1 y1 so the slope of the normal okay slope of the normal at x1 y1 should be what minus 1 by slope of tangent at x1 y1 that we already got minus x1 b square by y1 a square that will be equal to y1 a square by x1 b square okay now the normal line is simply going to be the line passing through x1 y1 having this slope y1 a square by x1 b square if you find that line that will be this line okay a square x by x1 minus b square y by y1 minus of a square minus b square equal to zero feel free to verify that fine so 
what is the normal equation of this x square by a square plus y square by b square minus 1 equal 0 at point x1 y1 it's going to be a square x by x1 minus b square y by y1 minus of a square minus b square equal to 0 you have to keep in mind okay fine note here normal to the standard lx x square by a square plus y square by b square minus 1 equal 0 at 0 comma plus or minus b is y axis okay it's pretty clear that you know if you take the standard ellipse okay and at this point or at this point this is, this is what 0 comma b so first of all what is the tangent at this 0 comma b if you simply substitute this 0 comma b in s1 equal to 0 here x x1 here x1 going to be 0 y1 going to be b then you will end up with a this 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 line which is a y equal to b horizontal line okay so normal going to be what so normal will be vertical line passing through 0 comma b that is exactly y axis okay same thing with a point 0 comma minus b fine okay so so at this ends 0 comma b 0 comma minus b the normal will be y axis similarly normal to this ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square minus 1 equal 0 at these ends okay that is minus a comma 0 and 0 comma a x axis because tangent is going to be vertical line okay these are going to be tangents and the line passing through these ends and perpendicular to this vertical line will be horizontal line so that is actually x axis okay fine so normal to the ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square minus 1 equal 0 at plus or minus a comma 0 is x axis fine next equation of the tangent at a point p of theta in parametric form here the point if it is given in parametric form a cos theta comma b sin theta that is your x1 y1 is what x1 equal to a cos theta y1 equal to b sin theta then tangent to this ellipse at p of theta will be x cos theta by a plus y sin theta by b minus 1 equal 0 so what will be s1 equal 0 in this case x x1 x1 i have to write a cos theta by a square y y1 y1 i have to write b sin theta in this case by b square minus 1 equal to 0 you see now here now you see this a the square got cancelled this b the square got cancelled what we left with this x cos theta by a plus y sin theta by b minus 1 equal to 0 okay so if you are point in parametric form your tangent should be this x cos theta by a plus y sin theta by b minus 1 equal to 0 similarly equation of the normal at a point p of theta in parametric form on this ellipse s equal 0 which is x square by a square plus y square by b square minus 1 equal 0 is a x by cos theta minus b y by sin theta minus of a square minus b square equal 0 again you simply write down this line equation for x1 equal to a cos theta y1 equal to b sin theta what you get here a square x by what is x1 a cos theta minus b square y by what is y1 b sin theta minus of a square minus b square equal to 0 here the square and a cancel here the square and b cancel okay so what you left with is this ax by cos theta minus by by sin theta minus of a square minus b square equal to 0 so this is the equation of the normal at a point which is in parametric form on the ellipse s equal 0 fine next theorem at most four normals can be drawn from a given point to an ellipse okay let us consider standard ellipse equation 
एस सी इक्वल टू जीरो एक्स स्क्वायर बाई ए स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर बाई बी स्क्वायर माइनस वन इक्वल टू जीरो एंड पॉइंट एक्स वन वाई वन इज अ गिवन पॉइंट इन द प्लेन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नो दैट इक्वेशन ऑफ द नॉर्मल एट अ पॉइंट पी ऑफ टीटा विच इज अ पॉइंट ऑन एस इक्वल जीरो इन पैरामेट्रिक फॉर्म इज एक्स बाई कॉस टीटा माइनस बी वाई बाई साइन टीटा माइनस ऑफ ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर इक्वल जीरो ओके सो वी हैव सीन इट फाइन लेट मी कॉल इट वन इफ दिस लाइन वन पास इज थ्रू द गिवन पॉइंट एक्स वन वाई वन देन वी शुड हैव दिस रिलेशन ओके विच इज अ ट्रेनामेट्रिक इक्वेशन बिकॉज बिकॉज एलिप्स इज गिवन सो वी नो ए एंड बी एंड पॉइंट इज गिवन सो वी नो एक्स वन वाई वन only unknown near theta fine let me call this one 2 okay this equation 2 will give different values of theta for which the normal passes through the given point x1 y1 okay you know that the cos theta we can write in terms of tan theta by 2 like this 1 minus tan square theta by 2 by 1 plus tan square theta by 2 similarly sin theta going to be 2 tan theta by 2 by 1 plus tan square theta by 2 right so if i replace cos theta and sin theta in terms of this tan theta by 2 i will end up with a uh, this one two can be written like this okay cos theta in the denominator we are replacing with this formula in terms cos theta in the denominator we are replacing with 1 minus tan square theta by 2 by 1 plus tan square theta by 2 so we have this ax1 times 1 plus tan square theta by 2 by 1 minus tan square theta by 2 minus by1 times here sin theta we are replacing with this so we will have this okay after simplifying this you will end up with this relation okay by1 tan to the power of 4 theta by 2 plus 2 times ax1 plus a square e square times tan cube theta by 2 2 times ax1 minus a square e square times tan theta by 2 minus by1 equal to 0 feel free to verify this okay this gets simplified to this form let me call this form 3 in this relation 3 if i make a substitution t equal to tan theta by 2 okay then we will see a fourth degree polynomial equation in t here unknown is only t so this is going to be a fourth degree polynomial equation right this fourth degree polynomial equation can have at most four distinct real roots okay let me call this one 4 okay so here four will have at most four distinct real roots and for each root t of four we will have a point on ellipse at which normal passes through x1 y1 here t equal to tan theta by 2 right since tan range is all r so this t can be any real number okay fine so for each root t of four we will have a point p of t on ellipse at which normal passes through x1 y1 okay for each root t okay there there will be theta in 0 to 2 pi theta equal to what actually 2 tan inverse of t okay that's how we get the theta so that you can look at the point okay if you draw the normal at that point it will be passing through x1 y1 okay fine next problem 1 find the equation of tangent and normal to the ellipse 9x square plus 16y square equal to 144 at the end of the lattice rectum in the first quadrant okay first of all let me realize given ellipse in standard form so if i divide both side by 144 i will end up with this x square by 16 Plus y square by nine minus one equal zero. This is going to be our yes. S equal to zero. Here, as you can see, a square equal to sixteen, b square equal to nine. Here we have a greater than b case. 
fine so this is how our ellipse looks okay we know there are two focus here let us say yes s dash and there are two lattice rectum one through yes other one through yes dash so there will be four ends of the lattice rectum total two for each but we are interested in end of the lattice rectum in the first quadrant that means we want this one okay so let us say l1 l1 dash l2 l2 dash but we want tangent and normal at this point what will be the coordinates for this l1 coordinates of this l1 going to be a comma b square by a okay here we already know a and b a will be 4 b will be 9 so we can find out eccentricity e in a greater than b case eccentricity formula e equal to under root 1 minus b square by a square it's going to be under root 1 minus 9 by 16 it's going to be root 7 by 4 this is eccentricity so the end of the lattice rectum in the first quadrant l1 is going to be ae what is a here 4 times root 7 by 4 b square by a what is b square 9 by 4 so it's going to be root 7 comma 9 by 4 okay this is a point okay if you think like this one x1 y1 so at this point we want to find out tangent and normal okay so tangent at x1 y1 that is root 7 comma 9 by 4 is what s1 equal to 0 s1 is what x x1 by a square plus y y1 by b square minus 1 equal to 0 so it will be what s1 in this case x x1 so x root 7 by a square that is 16 plus y y1 what is y1 9 by 4 by b square that is 9 minus 1 equal to 0 okay so if you simplify this what you get first of all here 9 9 get cancelled okay so this gets simplified to root 7 x plus 4 y minus 16 equal to 0 so this is the tangent at the l1 which is the end of the lattice rectum which is sitting in first quadrant okay similarly normal at this x1 y1 that is root 7 comma 9 by 4 is what a square x by x1 minus b square y by y1 minus of a square minus b square equal to 0 so what is a square we have 16 x by x1 we got root 7 minus b square we have 9 9 y by y1 we got 9 by 4 minus of a square 16 minus b square that is 9 equal to 0 okay again here again here 9 9 get cancelled So this gets simplified to 16x minus 4 root 7y minus 7 root 7 equal to 0. Okay. So this is normal at a point L1, which is the end of the lattice rectum sitting in the first quadrant. Okay. Fine. Next problem 2. If a tangent to the ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 
a greater than b case meets its major axis and minor axis at m and n respectively then prove that a square by c m square plus b square by c n square equal to 1 where c is the center of the ellipse okay here is our standard ellipse okay okay let me draw a tangent at a point on this ellipse let us say this point in parametric form p of theta that is a cos theta comma b sin theta okay so this is going to be tangent which is meeting major axis that is x axis at m and minor axis that is the y axis at n okay we know tangent to this s equal to 0 at p of theta is what x cos theta by a plus y sin theta by b equal to 1 right so let me write this tangent equation in intercept form okay so i can write x by a by cos theta plus y by b by sin theta equal to 1 okay so this tangent in intercept form so here m coordinates must be a by cos theta comma 0 this n coordinates must be 0 comma b by sin theta because here x intercept is a by cos theta y intercept is b by sin theta okay fine here c is the center right so the cm is what x intercept that is a by cos theta that implies cos theta equal to a by cm similarly the cn is y intercept that is going to be b by sin theta that implies sin theta equal to b by cn so now if you look at a a square by cm whole square plus b square by cn whole square that will be what cos square theta plus sin square theta but that equal to 1 therefore we have a square by cm whole square plus b square by cn whole square equal to 1 fine problem 3 find the condition for the line lx plus my plus n equal 0 to be a tangent to the ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 this is the first question next question is find the condition for the line lx plus my plus n equal 0 to be a normal to the ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 okay first of all let us say lx plus my plus n equal 0 let me call it 1 let us say this is tangent to s equal to 0 this is yes okay at a point on the ellipse at a point let us say in parametric form a cos theta b sin theta any point should be in this form a cos theta comma b sin theta for some theta in 0 to 2 pi okay but tangent to s equal to 0 at p of theta is actually x cos theta by a plus y sin theta by b minus 1 equal to 0 let's call it 2 okay here 1 and 2 should be representing same line so by comparing coefficients corresponding coefficient we should have l by cos theta by a 
equal to m by sin theta by b equal to n by minus 1 okay so that means from these two we have al by cos theta equal to minus n that implies cos theta equal to minus al by n now from these two we have m b by sin theta equal to minus n that implies sin theta equal to minus m b by n okay okay let me name this one 3 this one 4 then 3 square plus 4 square if you do it what you get cos square theta plus sin square theta equal to minus a l by n whole square plus minus m b by n whole square so we have left hand side 1 and right hand side a square l square by n square plus m square b square by n square so now if i take this n square this side we have a square l square plus b square m square equal to n square so this is the condition so that this lx plus my plus n equal 0 will be a tangent to the ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 okay okay similarly let's find the condition for the line lx plus my plus n equal 0 to be a normal to the ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 okay fine here lx plus my plus n equal 0 let's call it 1 let us say this is normal to this s equal 0 at a point p of theta that is a cos theta b sin theta because any point should be in this form parametric form but we know normal to this ellipse s equal 0 at p of theta actually ax by cos theta minus by by sin theta minus of a square minus b square equal to 0 okay so let me call it 2 here 1 and 2 should be representing same line okay so if I compare the corresponding coefficient, we should have L by A by cos theta M by minus B by sin theta equal to N by minus of A square minus B square. Okay. From these two relations, we should have cos theta equal to a n by minus l of a square minus b square from these two we should have sin theta equal to b n by m of a square minus b square okay if you call it 3 this one is 4 again if you look at a 3 square plus 4 square what you get cos square theta plus sin square theta equal to a square n square by 
L square of A square minus B square whole square plus B square N square by M square times A square minus B square whole square. Okay. Now this gets simplified to as this equal to 1. Okay. So we have a square by L square plus B square by M square equal to so the N square by A square minus B square all square common if I bring this side I can write A square minus B square all square by N square so this is a condition fine okay let me stop here. Thank you.